Hello everyone. So today uh, we will be doing word problems. So for the first question, Howard has three times as much money as Ronald. So Howard and Ronald. So Howard has three times as much money as Ronald. So if Ronald has X, so Howard has three X. If Howard gives Ronald fifty dollars, so Howard would uh, Howard would be fifty dollar less, and Ronald would be fifty dollars more. Now Ronald will have three times as much money as Howard. So this amount is three times that of this amount. So three multi this is a lower amount. So lower amount multiplied by three should be equal to this much. So nine x minus fifty equals to x one fifty. Nine x minus one fifty. Three into fifty is one fifty. Plus x equals to plus fifty. Uh, so x. 9x minus x equals to 150 plus 50. So this minus 150 will go over there. So 8x equals to 200, and x equals to 25. So if x is 25, so how much money in dollars do the two of them have together? So the total amount of money was 4x. So 4 multiplied by 25 equals to 100 dollars. Question two: In the afternoon, Beth read hundred pages. So Beth reads hundred pages at sixty page per hour. And um, in the evening, when she was tired, she reads another hundred. So in the morning, she reads hundred. So in the evening, she reads another hundred, but at a slower speed of forty pages per hour. So now we need to find out what was her average rate of reading. For the for the day, so average rate would be total number of pages divided by total number of time. So one thing is easy: the total number of pages she read equals to two hundred. But the total time she spent. So in the morning she spent hundred divided by sixty times. So this is sixty pages per hour. So as distance equals to velocity into time. Now over here, this is your velocity. That is your sixty, and the distance is hundred pages. So the time is hundred divided by sixty. And in the evening, the time is hundred divided by forty. So this, if you add both of them up, you will going to get total time. So this would be five over three. Two threes are two fives are, and this would be five over two. So the total time spent. Is ten plus fifteen divided by six, so twenty-five divided by six, so two hundred divided by twenty-five multiplied by six. So this is twenty-five eights are two hundred, six eights are forty-eight. So option B is correct. So if the sum of five consecutive integers is s, so the first number is n, so the second number would be n plus one, third would be so one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. This would be n plus two, n plus three, n plus four. If you add all of them up, so one, two, three, four, five, five n plus ten is equal to s because that's the sum. So n would be equal to s minus 10 divided by 5. So n equals to s minus 10 divided by 5. Now, if the sum of five integers is s, what is the largest of these two numbers? So this equals to s minus 10 divided by 5. This number would be equal to the fifth number would be equal to s minus 10 divided by 5 plus 4, or s minus 10 plus 20. Five fours are 20 divided by 5. This would be s plus ten divided by five. So s plus ten divided by five is option E. Now, as a fundraiser, the school band was selling two types of candy: so lollipop for forty cent and chocolate bars for seventy-five cents. Now, on the Monday, on Monday they sold one fifty candy. So L plus C lollipop plus chocolate equals to one fifty. And there is seventy-four dollars. Now we are talking in terms of cents, so there are hundred cents in each dollar, so there would be seventy-four hundred cents. Now, forty cents multiplied by the number of uh, lollipops they sold plus seventy-five 
cents into the number of chocolates they sold. This equals to 7,400 cents. Now, how many lollipops did they sell? So we need to find out this L. So we can find out, so we have this equation. So we can write C equals to 150 minus L and we can substitute this over here. So 40 L plus 75, 150 minus L should be equal to 7,400. Now 40 L plus, so 75 into 150. So quickly 75 into 100 is 7,500 and 75 into 50. So 75 into five would be, uh, 75 into five would be uh, how much? So technically it would be half. So 75 divided by two is uh, 37.5. So 375, 3750. So 3750, or you can either you can check the answer as well. So 75 into 5, 5, 5 is 25, 5, 7 is 35, 35 plus 2 is 375. And we can also do it like this, 75 divided by 2, because it is 5 over here. So 75 divided by 2 is 37.5. So 375 Now, if we add both of them up, 7,000 plus 3,000 is 10,000, 10,500 plus uh, 750 would be 11,250. Now, 40L minus 75L equals to 7,400 minus 11,250. So, this would be minus 35L equals to, so 7,400, if we subtract 11,250, so 600 till 8,000. Then 3,250 uh, plus 600, 3,250. So this would be 3,850. Minus. Now L equals to 3,850 divided by 35. Now if you look closely, 3850 divided by 35. 35 ones are 35. So 35 again. 35 ones are 35 and we are left with 0. So 110. So 110 is the number of lollipops you were able to sell. A jar contains only red, white and blue marbles. The number of red marbles is four-fifths of number of white marbles and the number of white marbles is three-fourths of number of blue mar marbles. So we have red, white and blue. Now, if there are 470 marbles in all, so if let's suppose X, we have blue marbles, X blue marbles. So how much white marbles we, we will be having? So three fourth white ones is three fourth. So three one upon four X and four fifth of the white marble. So four fifth would be four upon five into three over four X. So this would be 12 divided by 20 and this would be three upon four X and this would be x and if you add all of them up we will be getting 470 now if we add them up this would be 0 0.6 this would be 0 0.75 and this is 1 this is equals to 470. So 0.6 plus 0.75 is uh, 1.35. Uh, so 2.35x equals to 470. So we can write 235 divided by 100, x equals to 470. 235 ones are 235 twos are, x equals to 2 multiplied by 100. So the number of blue marbles we have equals to 200. So how many blue marbles we have? E. Option E is correct. Question six, the number of shells in Judy's collection. So Judy collection is 80% of the number of Justin's collection. So Justin's, if Justin has X, Judy will going to have point X. If Justin has 80 more shells than Judy, if Justin's have 80 more shells, so X minus 0 0.8 X equals to 80. How many shells do they have altogether? So this X would be 0.2 X equals to 80. 
So this x would be equal to 80 divided by 0 0.2. So x equals to 400. So if x is equal to 400, so we have, this is 320. 0 0.8 into 400 is 320. And 400, add them up, you will going to get 720. So the total 700, 720 shells. Question seven. So what is the greater of the two numbers whose product is 900 if the sum of the two numbers exceed the difference? So let's suppose the two numbers are x and y. Sum would be x plus y. And the, if the sum of the two numbers exceed the difference, so the difference would be x minus y. So if the sum of the two numbers exceeds, so x plus y minus x minus y equals to 30. So x plus y minus x plus y equals to 30. So x and x cancels out. So y equals to 15. Now the sum of the two numbers was 900. So we know the first number. We know the we know y that is 15. So x multiplied by 15 equals to 900. So five three fives are 300. Uh, three fives are 300. 900 divided by 3 would be 300. 5 ones are 560. So x equals to 60. So what is the greater of the two? So we have 60 as x and 15 as y. So 60 is greater of the two. So option B is correct. Now on a certain project, the only grades awarded were 80 and 100. Nothing else. And there were 10 students altogether. So let's suppose 80 students got... Uh, uh, um, so 100 students got x so uh, x students got 100 so the two students that will be getting 80 would be 10 minus x so the average of the grades was 94 so if you want to find out average so x students got 100 and 10 minus x students got 80 so this is your total number of marks divided by 10. Why? Because this is the total number of students and the average is 94. So 100 X plus 800 minus 80 X equals to 940. So 100 X minus 80 X equals to 20 X. 940 minus 800 is 140 X equals to 7. So option D is correct. So D basically means that there were seven students who got 100 marks. Question nine. So if half X years ago, Adam was 12 years old. So let's suppose we are standing over here. So 0.5 X or half X years ago, Adam was 12 years old. So if half X years ago, Adam was 12 years ago and half X years from now, so half X years from now, he will be two X. How old will he be three X years from now? So we know that the difference between two X minus 12 is X. Why? Because 0.5 X plus 0.5 X equals two X. So the difference between two X and 12 is X. So hence x equals to 12, x equals to 12. So right now, so right now, this person would be 18 years old because 0.5x years ago, the person was 12. So 0.5x is 6. So six years later, the person will become 18 years old. So right now, the person is 18 years old. How much the person would be 3x years from now? So 3 into 12 is 36. So 36 years later, this person would be 36 plus 18 equals to 54. So correct option is D. Since 1950, when Barry was discharged from the army, so 1950, he has gained 20 pounds every year. So in 1980, he was 40% heavier than in 1950. So in 1980, 30 years from now, if he was weighing X, so right now he would be weighing, weighing X plus 60 because each year he gains one pound. So in 30 years, he would gain 60 pounds. Now, the, now how much more does he weigh? He weighs 60 pounds more. 
that is 40% heavier than what he was in 1950. So 40% of X would be 60 pounds. So X equals to 60 divided by 0 0.4, uh, 0 0.4. So this would be 150 pounds. So in 1950, he was 150 pounds. In 1980, he was 210 pounds. So what percent of his 1995 weight was his 180 weight gain? So in 1995, so how many years from 1950 to so 45 years? So in 45 years, he will, go in, he will go into gain two pounds. That is, he will be 90, 90 pounds heavier than 150. So 150 plus 90 equals to 240. So what is the percent of his 1995 weight? Or what percent of his 1995 weight was his 1980 weight? So in 1980, he weighs 210. And right now he weighs 240. So three sevens are three eights. Are. So seven over eight. Now we know that one over eight is 12.5%. So seven over eight would be 87.5%. Now this is, these are things that you need to memorize. So one over eight is 12.5%. One over two is obviously 50%. One over four is 25%. 1 over 3 is 33.33%. So you need to know these uh, numbers. Anyhow, and it's quite simple as well. So 12, 8 12s are 96 and 96 and we have half more. So half of 8 is 4. So we get 100. Okay, so which quantity is greater? So Lindsay is twice as old as she was 10 years ago. So if 10 years ago, if she was X, right now she is 2X and 10 years, so 10 years ago, so she was, Lindsay is twice as old as she was 10 years ago, uh, 10 years ago. So 10 years ago, if she was X, right now she is 2X and the difference between 2X minus X is 10. So X is 10. So 2X minus X is 10. So she was 10. Right now she is 20 years old. This is Lindsay. So Lindsay is 20 years old. Now, Kimberle is half as old as she will be in 10 years. So in, today, if she is X in 10 years, she would be 2X. And again, 2X, 2X minus X equals to 10. So X equals to 10. So right now, Kinsey is 10 years old. So Lohan, Lindsay is 20 years old and Kimberle is 10 years old. So quantity A is greater than quantity B. So option A is correct. Now, Boris spent one-fourth of his take-home money. So, let's suppose he had $100. So, he spent uh, $25. So, $75 were left. So, 25% or one-fourth is 25%. So, out of this 75% on Saturday, so Boris spent one-fourth of his take-home money on Saturday and one-third of his, of what was left on Sunday. So, on Sunday, so one-third of 75 is 25 so he has spent 25. So on Monday, Saturday, he has spent 75. And on Sunday, uh, on Saturday, he has spent 25. And on Sunday, he has also spent 25. So the total amount of money he has spent is $50. So the amount of his take home money paid that he spent, that was 50. And the amount of take home money that was saved, that is also 50. And the rest of the rest he put in his saving account. So the total number of money that we started off was 100. So it's easier that you take 100 as a base. So both quantities are equal. So hence option C is correct. In eight years, Tiffany will be three times as old as she is now. So if she is three years old, uh, eight years later, she will be three times. She would be three X. So X plus eight equals to three X. So 2x equals to 8 and x equals to 4. So right now she is 4 years old. So 4 threes are 12. So 4 plus 8 equals to 12. So 8 years later she will be 3 times of what she is today. The number of years until Tiffany will be 6 times as old she is now. So 6 times. So 6 into 4 equals to 24. So from going from 4 to 24 it takes 20 years. So 20 is definitely greater than 16. So option A is correct. That quantity A is greater than quantity B. Rachel put exactly 50 cents worth of postage on an envelope using only a 4 cent stamp and a 7 cent stamp. 
So for cent stamp, let's suppose is X and uh, seven cent stamp is X, uh, let's suppose is Y. So four cent multiplied by X plus seven into Y, seven into Y equals to 50 cents. So this is the number of four cent stamp and this is the number of five, uh, uh, seven cent stamp. So now four X plus seven Y equals to 50. Now we need to come up with a combination. You cannot, you cannot have half a stamp. So all of these X and Y needs to be a whole number. So we can, we need to come up with combinations. We need to come up with combinations so that uh, uh, we have uh, in both X and Y, both are whole numbers. So let's suppose uh, we take seven, uh, we take Y as one. So when Y is one, so four X will be equals to 43. So 43 minus seven. Now this number cannot be, this number will not going to give you a whole number. So why this cannot be the case. If we take y equals to two, then four x will be equal to 14, 50 minus 14. So 50 minus 14 is 36. Now this can be divided by uh, four. So this would be nine. So we have one, we have one combination that uh, seven stem, seven cent stem can be, there can be two seven stem, a seven cent stem, and there can be nine, uh, four cent stem. Now let's suppose, uh, do we have any other, uh, uh, combination? So the other combination would be, let's suppose we have, um, Y as six. So when we have Y as six, so four X equals to 50 minus six, seven are 42. So four X equals to eight and X equals to two. Now X can be two and Y can be uh, six. When X is two, Y is six. And when X is nine, when X is nine, Y is two. So we cannot say which quantity is greater. At times uh, X is greater than B. So the number of four cent stamp is can be two and the number of uh, seven cent stamp can be six and why uh, so uh, the number of four cent stamp can be nine and on the other hand the number of four seven cent stamp can be two so we are not sure which quantity is greater so option d is correct so car a and car b leaves from the same spot at the same time so car a travels due north at 40 miles per hour so distance equals to velocity into time again so due north travels at 40 miles per hour. So the car will travel 40 T. The distance would be 40 T. So 40 into time. And it travels, B travels due east at 30 miles per hour. So it would be 30 T. The distance would be 30 T. Now the distance from car A to C after nine hours. So this is the distance. So nine hours later, this would be 1600 t square plus 900 t square. So it's your Pythagoras theorem is x, y, c. So x square plus y square equals to c square. So x square is 1600 t square, y square is 900 t square and c square we get 2500 t square. So c would be 50 t and your time is nine hours. So distance from car A to car C after nine hours would be 50 into 9, that is 450. So 450 is equals to 450. Hence, option C is correct. Again, in the end, I would recommend that you do a lot of practice. So thank you. Thank you, class.